Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. And welcome to 5 Minutes with Phil. Hope you had a great Memorial Day holiday with uh, your loved ones yesterday. And now uh, we're kind of back in the swing of things. We've got a short week, but we're still working, some of us. And what better way to start the work day than to take a look at God's Word? So why don't we do that together here today? I have chosen a... Uh, a, a scripture from the book of Psalms, Psalm chapter 13, and um, this is written by David, and y you know, it, it's it's pretty eye-opening what David had to say here, uh, because this is a man who had, he had a special relationship with God, right? I mean, uh, even identified as a man after God's own heart. This is the worshiper David. This is the warrior, the giant killer David. This is the king. He's seen so much, and he's experienced so much great things with the Lord. And yet, he has a moment of brutal honesty here that I think it'd be good for us to realize that uh, maybe we're not alone in having the same honest feelings. Take a look at Psalm 13. Starting in verse 1, it says this, O Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart every day? How long will my enemy have the upper hand? Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes, or I will die. Whoa! Wow! How many of us have prayed prayers like that to God? I, I, in fact, I would say that some of us would actually be a little afraid to be that brutally honest with God. I mean, David, again, I, I, let, let's, let, let's remember, this is David. This is not your ordinary character in the Bible, okay? He's like, he's like one of the big, the big ones, right? And, and he's saying, God, have you forgotten me? I mean, that's what, basically what he's saying. It's what it comes down to. He feels like God's forgotten him. Whoa. You know, how about you? Um, have you been brought to a place because you don't understand the circumstances that have gone on around you or, or there's, a, uh, there, there's a prayer that you've been praying for so long and you've not seen the answer or at least any results from that prayer and I think the enemy likes to then use those occasions to kind of whisper in our ear uh, yeah he's forgotten you there's something wrong with you and God's holding it against you um, there's an issue there and you're it and that's not the case. God has not forgotten you. He hasn't. In fact, again in verse 3, he says, Turn and answer me, O oh God. Lord, Lord, please, just turn and answer me. Put the sparkle back in my eye. I love how this translation, this is the New Living Translation, I love how this translation says that. Um, David was desperate. He was desperate. And you've been there too, and so have I. And sometimes I think we feel guilty because we feel this way with God. And I think the Lord would remind all of us that it's very much okay to feel the way that you might be feeling right now. And, and you might think it's kind of ugly, you might think it's kind of bad, but, but God's not going to hold that against you. In fact, um, I do believe that he will answer you. You know, David again said, Lord, just turn to me and answer me. Maybe that's just the simple prayer that you can pray. Lord, just turn to me and answer me. Put the sparkle back in my eyes. Lord, give me my life again. Lord, help me to function again. And I think God honors that prayer. So my prayer for you would be for you to not feel discouraged or forgotten. My prayer for you would not be for you to feel like you have become the exception to what the Bible has to say. You're not. You have not been forgotten. Not at all. God sees you and he loves you. 
and he will answer your prayer. Stay faithful to him. All right, that's my word of encouragement to you today. I hope you have a wonderful day. We love you, and uh, Lord willing, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.